7 Top Stangest Abandoned Places Around the World One, Tufelsberg, Berlin, Germany. Adjacent to bustling Berlin lies Tufelsberg, a now abandoned Cold War listening station. The station sits on top of a 262-foot artificial hill called Devil's Mountain, basically a pile of World War II rubble covering up a Nazi military college. NSA built the station on the mountain so they could eavesdrop on East Berlin. It was abandoned after the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989. Today. It is a graffiti-covered ruin overlooking the city. We assumed the views would be incredible, but alas, it is illegal to visit. 2. An Iva Lighthouse, Russia An Iva Island and its stately lighthouse were involved in a custody battle between Japan and Russia for around a century. The island flip-flopped many times between Russian ownership, Japanese ownership, and even a shared ownership. The Soviets finally took full control after World War II and added radioactivity to the lighthouse. Nuclear generators and mercury lubricants helped the structure operate partially by itself, but it faded due to abandonment after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. 3. Balaclava Submarine Base, Crimea Nothing to see here folks, just an abandoned Soviet submarine base built during the Cold War. Hidden under the Crimean city of Balaclava. Made famous by Alfred, Lord Tennyson's narrative poem, Charge of the Light Brigade, the structure is covered by 56 meters of concrete and filled with now empty tunnels that once housed some of the Cold War's most destructive weapons. Ever since the base was completely abandoned around 1993, visitors have been able to take tours of the derelict and mysterious site. 4. Rubger Nude Lighthouse, Denmark Located on the North Sea coast, the Rubjurg Nude Lighthouse has been abandoned for more than a decade, after slowly getting overtaken by the surrounding sand dunes. It first opened in 1900 and remained in operation until 1968, then served as a museum and coffee shop until the rising sands finally forced it to shut down completely in 2002. You can still walk along the beach and snap photos of the lighthouse, but we suggest you do so sooner rather than later. At the current rate of the ocean, the structure is expected to fall into the ocean sometime in the next 2-5 years. 5. Bielitz Heilstatten Hospital, Germany If this old German hospital looks disturbing, well, it is. Just check out its chilling resume. Between 1898 and 1930, the Bielitz Heilstatten complex served as a tuberculosis sanatorium. It also housed mustard gas and machine gun victims during World War I including a young soldier named Adolf Hitler. The hospital later went on to be a major treatment center for Nazi soldiers during World War II, and it was used as a Soviet military hospital from 1945 until the fall of the Berlin Wall. Today, a few wards are used as a neurological rehabilitation center, although the majority of the complex is abandoned. The surgery and psychiatric wards have both been left to decay and give way to nature, and vandals, and the result looks like something straight out of American Horror Story, Asylum. 6. SS Airfield Shipwreck, Sydney, Australia The area of Homebush Bay was once an industrial crossroads of Sydney, filled with ships transporting coal and oil during the early 20th century. Unfortunately, the water soon became contaminated and toxic, probably because of all that coal and oil, a problem that only got solved after the commercial boom following the 2000 Olympics. The area is now a fully functional residential suburb, but you can still catch a few glimpses of Homebush Bay's industrial past, and they're much prettier than new I think. Most notably is the SS Airfield, a rusted abandoned freighter that has miraculously become overgrown with mangrove trees. Can anyone else imagine this as a pop-up tiki bar in Brooklyn? 7. Krakow, Italy Founded in the 8th century, the hilltop town of Krakow had a rough go of things for several centuries, give or take, falling victim to earthquakes, wars, and the Black Plague. The final straw was a 1963 landslide, which forced all remaining residents to evacuate the city. The original city sits in a state of slow decay, although it's still a popular site for visitors. There are even a few annual religious festivals held in Krakow from May to October, while off-season tourists can enjoy the city ruins and cliffside views.